In this video, we will focus on how to implement advanced aggregations in Power BI. Aggregations specify how a measure is added in relation to one or more dimensions. Consider the sample table shown here. In this table, we simply add the values to get the total for PY sales and revenue fields. For units, we average the values to get the total. And for forecast, we take the maximum value and show it in the total. Power BI provides the flexibility to define aggregations for columns using the summarization property. Note that this can only be done for columns in your tables. For DAX measures, you cannot set aggregations as it is handled by the function itself when it is executed for the total row. Power BI also allows you to override column aggregations at a visual level when you assign a value to it. InfraRiver helps you go beyond simple column-level aggregations. Consider this table shown. When you click on the aggregation property, you will notice that the aggregation type for each field is set to native, meaning that InfraRiver uses aggregations as defined in the data model or DAX functions. You can override these aggregations for both columns and measures with ease. When you work with hierarchies, InfraRiver allows you to define aggregations at a particular parent level. In the table shown here, I can click on Home Appliances and set the aggregation type for that row to maximum. Note that this change overrides all aggregations defined at the column level. I can go to another row and set its aggregation type to minimum. InfraRiver also allows us to define one common aggregation for a specific level in the hierarchy. Note that we have both category and subcategory fields assigned at the parent level in our matrix. I have the option to navigate to the aggregation window, select hierarchy, and specify aggregation for any existing parent level throughout the matrix. You may be surprised to know that financial statements often require a different type of aggregation. Take this table of expenses for example. The values all add up to 62.94. When you start rounding up individual values, the total goes out of sync. This is fine for a normal table but is not a generally accepted practice when it comes to financial statements. The sum of individual values should consistently equal the total. To accomplish this in your Power BI report, ensure that the aggregation type is configured to visible rounding. InfraRiver ensures that the total exactly matches the sum of the values visible in the rows. To sum it up, InfraRiver goes beyond simple measure level aggregations and provides options to do advanced aggregations for hierarchies and financial statements. To try out how you can implement advanced aggregations, download a copy of InfraRiver at www.infraRiver.com products.